Hi guys, I'm Ioana from designers.com and this is our new video in which I'm going to walk you through the process of drawing and then vectorizing an astrotimp for our new Designers Mega Pack. So even though I like to usually sketch on paper before I start doing the illustrator part, I've opened up a new file in Photoshop and started my sketch here so that I can really show you guys the entire process from sketch to finished product. So as you can see, I started with a simple ball shape that I developed into a chimp head. I put in the eye sockets, the cheekbones, the mouth, um, the ears and the hairline. After I'm done with the rough shape of the chimp, I'm going to start working on the helmet. And after our sketch is finished, we're going to import it into Illustrator and get started on the inking and coloring process. So now that our sketch is done, we're going to import it into Illustrator. You can save it as a JPEG or just copy paste directly into your new Illustrator file. You lock the layer with the sketch on it and I usually like to select the dim image option to about 30% so that I can really see what's going on on top of my sketch. I'll create a new layer for the line art and afterwards I'm going to create a brush that I'll use for the inking part. It's a calligraphic brush. I usually go for three points with a full three point pressure variation. This is very important. You need a tablet for the pressure variation option. If you do not have a tablet, this option will not be available for your calligraphic brush. Now with the brush selected, I'll start just filling in the lines, going from thin to thick or any other variation of this technique. Thin to thick is the easiest way to start learning to variate your stroke, but it really just comes down to practice. The brush settings or the tablet that you use aren't really relevant. It's just a matter of what works best for your hand and how you get used to doing it. So now I'm going to speed the line art part up a bit so that we can get to the shadows and accents a little later.
Now, for the helmet, you'll notice that I'm not just using the brush tool, but also adjusting the anchor points with the direct selection tool, and even working on the paths with the pen tool if just adjusting the anchor points doesn't cut it. Don't be afraid to use any tool you feel is necessary to get those lines looking just right. Time to fill in our line art with some black. I'll start with the areas that are most important in visual hierarchy, like the eyes. And from there, just start adding shadows for volume and contrast. I use reflected light in the form of white offsets on the edges of shapes, so that these shapes can remain clearly defined.
While adding shadows, I also stop and add a little more tiny details to create texture along with the shadows themselves. So now that the line art is completed, I'm just going to expand it by selecting the entire line art and going to Object Expand Appearance and then Object Expand. Next I'm going to click Merge on the Pathfinder so that we can merge it into a big shape because now we have a shape instead of a stroke. And then you see that we'll have a stroke and a fill color that are unknown. This usually happens because of merging errors. So what we're going to do is just go to Object Path Cleanup and if that doesn't work try merging again and then repeating the Object Path Cleanup routine and that should fix it. So now we see the fill color is 100% black and I've mentioned this before, I don't like working with 100% black because of the weird contrast it creates with other colors. So I work with an off black color, usually bluish or reddish. Next we're going to add a shape, a rectangle of whatever color you want. We're going to send it backwards so it's underneath the line art. We're going to select both the line art and the shape and then click Merge on the Pathfinder again and now we have one big shape. Next we're going to isolate the line art from the fill color. So we're going to isolate the group, select the black with the magic wand tool, group it together, then exit the group and ungroup it. So now we have one group with the line art and one group with the fill color. I know this might be a little confusing at first, but if you go through this routine once or twice, it'll be very easy to remember in the future. So now as you can see, I've started selecting the shapes that resulted from the earlier merging with the direct select tool. This is because I want to add more colors into our AstroChimp, so I'll just select the shapes that I want to have a certain color and change their fill color. It's as simple as that. And I'll do this until I'm happy with the palette I've selected and afterwards I'm going to add the shadows and the highlights to get our finished product.
Now that we have the basic fill colors, I'm going to create a new layer on top of the fill colors underneath the line art and start adding shadows. And I'm going to just rename the layers so that you guys can see the order more clearly. And I'm going to create a new calligraphic brush of about six points, a thicker brush for the shadows. Select a darker color than that of the fill color and start putting in the shadows guided by where I put the black accents in the first place and just trying to add volume and contrast to our astro chip. Now, for the highlights, I'm going to create a new layer underneath the shadows so that they don't overlap. And the process is mainly the same like that of adding the shadows, only instead of darker colors, you're just going to use lighter colors. And keep in mind that when it comes to highlights, quantity is not necessarily an issue. You just have to use them where you think they're really necessary to make your artwork pop and not really overdo it. So now having the base colors, the shadows, the highlights, and the line art in order, we have our finished product. Cow, meet AstroChimp. So now that AstroChimp has boldly gone where no chimp has gone before, I'd like to thank you for watching and make sure to check out our previous video on the Designiest Times channel and feel free to check out our products on designiest.com. Have a good one and bye-bye.